Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the loudest podcast and all of music, the Moshcast. This is another redo that we're doing. Um, this is Reincarnate by Motionless and White. I believe it's their 2014 album, if I'm if I'm sure. Um, so yeah, this consists of 14 songs. Um, we're gonna have a great time here. Um, yeah, I, I think this this I think this album is a pretty good one from when I listened to it. To it and yeah. Um, but well, obviously their their 2019 album and their recent album is are pretty good. Graveyard Shift and Infamous and Creatures are good as well. Well, um, so yeah, before we get to this episode, let's bring in AJ. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the loudest podcast of all fucking music, the Mosh fucking cast, where we are reviewing Reincarnate by Motionless and White. Let's do this. Yes, yes, let's fucking do this. All right, the yeah, first yeah. song, Death March. Yes. And the meaning of the song, you know, I'll, I'll read the meanings before the song starts so we can get an idea of what we're getting ourselves into. <clears throat> so Chris Motionless, he states in the track, by track commentary, it's just a song about not giving a care in the world about what anyone says about you and to fight about what you yeah. believe in. You know, that's actually very inspirational right there. Um, whatever people say about you, don't mind them. Always ignore people I agree. That, that try to bring you down. And always fight for what you believe in. Like, fight for your beliefs. Yeah. So exactly. that's pretty much what the song, song's about. I'll be reading it beforehand. beforehand if, if there's anything that, that says there, because I can't an- analyze the lyrics. That's more of a Maddie thing. <laughs> Maddie's better, better at that than us, so... I always rely on yeah. on the meanings and not the lyrics. All right, so let's get to Death March. Death March. So again, as I pointed out before the song started, um, Chris stated that it, it was just it's just a simple song about not giving a care in the world about what anyone says about you, and to fight for what you believe in. So AJ, why don't you go ahead? Yeah, um, this song was great. Um, what a way to kick off the album, and um, the meeting. Yeah, I could definitely relate. Um, just be yourself, man. I don't let people judge you. Don't let people judge you who you are. But I have, all right, so I might have to openly admit this, but I'm a wrestling figure collector. And um, I'm not afraid to say that because because people are going to judge me because, like, AJ, you're 17. You're not supposed to collect figures. Like, bro, it doesn't matter. Like, we have like 37 year olds collecting wrestling figures or action figures or whatever. Nowadays, so does it really matter anymore? But I understand what the money point a bit, but but god damn, stop being judgmental, you know. Hey, stop, guys, stop being judgmental. I am also a wrestling stop. figure collector at 19 years old. I'm I'm admitting it right now. Yay! I'm gonna get hate now because I'm I'm an adult collecting figures. Woo-hoo! Yeah, we're gonna get hated, all right, but not really. But um. Anything with these bands, yeah. man. But anyways, um, people, just don't judge people who you are. Just be yourself. Yeah. Yeah, just be yourself. Don't let anyone bring you down, all right? Yes, and you're like, indeed. Like, if, if you want to be, like, a 20-year-old man and, and still collect some action figures, whether it be for, for professional wrestling, Marvel, DC, Star Wars, anything. Et cetera. Et cetera, et cetera. Be proud of doing that. If you're passionate yes. about it, yes. yes. No, don't be afraid to openly admit it. If you, if you, yeah. if people want to give you shit for it, that's their problem. Exactly. If if they want to make you feel like shit for it, that's their problem. Exactly. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about it. So the next song is the title track "Reincarnate," and the oh. meaning of the song. Reincarnate, uh, it's the second track on the album. It is 
It is the depiction about how, how humans will be when they return from death. So yeah, that's pretty much all it says there. So, so let's play the song right now. Alright, that was the title track, Reincarnate. So, as I mentioned before the song, the song is just a depiction of how humans will be when they return from death. Hmm. Alright, um, AJ, if you have anything to say about it, why don't you talk about the song? Alright, the song was really good. Um, honestly, my favorite off the album. Oh, yeah. Already, it's a good, good, good song because it's so good. Like, that part, like, when Chris screamed, Blew me away. Yeah. Um, and the meaning, I cannot comment on that. But, I can't comment on it but, either. But I bet it's a, it's just a meaning. So it's nothing like personal that you see in the Moshcast in the past. But um, but definitely a good song. Yeah, it's but, definitely a good song. Um, I don't have anything to say about the meaning. Um, about the picture of how humans will be when they, when they return from death. Um. No comment on that, really. Yeah. Because I, I never had anything personal about it. And nobody, and I don't think any of us could relate either. Yeah. Do you know, what? I'm just gonna say that it's it's a really good song and probably my favorite off the album, just because <laughs> of the instrumentals. I just like how heavy it was with the screams and shit. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So the next one. Let's move on to Puppets 3, the grand finale. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Let's put... Filth. That was Puppets 3, in parentheses, the grand finale. I don't know who the feature was, but okay. So the meaning, there wasn't really much about it, except except it just pointed out that it was the third installment of Motionless to White's puppet series. It features Danny Filth, the vocalist of Cradle to Filth. Ooh, all right. So there wasn't really much of a meaning into this, so... Um, so, um, it was a great song, and I really like the feature that Danny built. He did pretty good there. Um, AJ. Yeah. Yeah, um, this song was actually good. Um, I love the one, um, I actually like the feature guy in this one, um, Danny Bill, and whatever his name is, of Cradle to the Bill. Um, but that's really a good song, though. Um, there's no particular meaning on this, which is okay. Um, but good song overall. It's pretty enjoyable. Yeah. So, so the next song is called Unstoppable, and the meaning of the song. Unstoppable is supposedly Wait. the second part of the song Underdog from the record Infamous. Oh, um, the song's message Wait, did, we, did we even review that? Did we review yeah, we did before. Yeah, we did. Oh, okay. The song's message is to encourage the encourage the listeners, if I can fucking speak, <laughs> encourage encourage the, encourage the listeners to carry on. It conveys that uh, suicide is not that answer, and that the pain they go through will help them someday. All right, expect a, expect a possible trigger warning here. And oh so, shit! As like a precaution. Um, so yeah, um, Unstoppable. Unstoppable, and as mentioned, it's the, it's a message to, the message, the, the message of the song is to encourage the listeners to carry on. It conveys that suicide is not the, that answer. That the pain they go through will help them someday. You know what? Um, 
for the song, um, it was pretty good. Pretty good. Um, obviously, I can't relate to it. Um, I never had that experience about about what the meaning was about. Um, but overall, the song was pretty good, and I think it really speaks that message. So, if anyone anyone is going through suicidal thoughts, I'll always get some help. It gets some help, all right. Um, AJ, go ahead. Yeah, um, this is overall a great song. I definitely enjoyed it. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, again, if anyone's going through that, um, wait, um, before, before, um, we move on, yeah, um, I know I talked about this many times, but yeah, uh, you get my point with the uh, suicidal thoughts about that stuff. Yeah, go check out the other videos I mentioned about it. I mentioned it plenty of times. Yeah. And I don't want to say it again because I'm already moved on from that now. Yeah. So. Always ask for help and talk to someone you trust, all right? So, anyways. Yeah. To encourage encourage the people out there to carry on. All the the people out there. To get some help, all right? Oh, yeah. this song title though. Uh oh. Everybody sells cocaine. Oh my God! What the, the hell? That's what the song is about. Oh, all right, man. all right. So, this song is about the fact that a lot of bands today all have their own lies to sell. That's not true at all. You should not sell anything in real life. Hell I mean, no. I mean, I think, I think, th- I think this was around the time in 2014. Oh, well, still, well, True. still, you can't, you can't really sell anything for your life. That's just weird and stupid in general. Yeah. So anyways, let's play this song right now. Let's do it. Yeah, um, yeah, so this song was really good, um, yes, everyone uses the sell, wait, what was the title, that everyone sells for cocaine or something? Everybody sells cocaine. Okay, everyone sells cocaine, yeah, I see that a lot, there's a lot of people over the world selling drugs and everything, it's not the right thing to do, you know, taking drugs in general, it's freaking stupid and ignorant, it's not that good for you and it's gonna impact your life it's it's gonna impact you really badly and i am on i am fortunate enough that i don't take these things because i never took them when i was younger or now like i don't take them now i don't take them i didn't even take them when i was a young boy because i was a good boy and i i never did either i, I don't and i don't plan on doing drugs ever because never do those yeah it's gonna impact a lot of people's lives and i see it with a lot of people they get arrested for duis etc it's especially for alcohol too yeah those things are bad and yeah and also there's like a weed um there's also another drug weed that make people feel high and yeah i don't know man it's just drugs and alcohol in general is not a good thing for you um but i mean it's your choice but i would rather not do it because it'll really impact your life for the rest of your life it's not that good unless you get help that's but that would be a good thing but just in general general for for the viewers out there for the people in the podcast and everyone here please do not take these things do not drink do not drink do not do drugs. Do not do anything that's gonna impact your life, because you're gonna make, make, you're gonna feel like just giving up in general. It's not really a good thing. Yeah. Anyways, Jason, go ahead. All right. So for the song meaning, yeah. Um... I already mentioned it. Um, it's just about the fact about bands sell and stuff like that. 
Yeah, I already gave it a good explanation why you should not sell drugs and never do that to to other people because they're gonna impact their lives too. All right, Contemptress is next, featuring Maria Brink, the vocalist of In This Moment. The song is about two lovers repeatedly returning to each other, even though they both know that they are toxic and for each other. Oh no, where did it get to the toxic part of things? Oh shit. So let's play a song right now. Let's do it. So, yeah, pretty much what I mentioned, it's just about, like, toxic relationships. Um, I don't have any any relatable stuff on that, but, yeah, um, it's a good song overall. Um, AJ, go ahead. Yeah, um, this one, yeah, I could see, I could relate to a lot of people that I know, but um, I, I cannot relate to this to myself because I never had one in the first place but um well i don't know if this is counts but with the relationship i had a couple of summers ago with the uh oh yeah by the way i got informed like by my friend um that jason knows but um according to him he uh he he told me that my ex cheated on me while we were dating and pretty much used me to get her ex chalice. Like, who does that? But, um, yeah, I, in that moment, I just realized, I just got told that. That just made me salty as a pretzel, because pretty much she was using me for jealousy. It's not a good thing. But, yeah, I could tell, I could see a lot of people having toxic relationships um, with, from my friend's perspective. Um, but I don't know yeah. if cheating it counts as one, but I bet it does. But, um, but technically, um, the, um, but I could definitely relate though, from my friend's perspective, but I don't think for much for me yet. I hope not, but. Yeah, I hope not oh, either. Oh, um, but this is a good song. I definitely enjoyed it. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed it either. So, um, yeah, the next one is called Break the Cycle. Um, AJ? Oh, okay, there you are, there you are. You, What's up? You, you kind of froze on me. What's up? You kind uh, of froze me for a minute. Sorry. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, I'm good. So, Break the Cycle, um, it discusses how difficult it truly is to change one's life and habits. So, yeah, um, let's play the song right now. All right. Break the cycle. So, the song, it, it pretty much discusses how truly difficult it is to change one's life and habits. So, you know what? I'll I'll say that makes that, that that makes sense, considering the title as well. Um, so yeah, I'm AJ. If you have, if you have anything to say about it, go ahead. Yes, I actually I actually can relate on this because yes, it takes a long time to change as a person, as a human being, and just from your just from your self because. In general, because it's it's really hard for you to change. Because like, remember like a few months. Uh, I don't even know, to a year now. I think. Um, wait, was it a year? No, not yet. Um, last few months. Um, yeah. I mean, a couple of years ago, I went through a process of changing. Um, growing up, and um, pretty much being mature in general. Yeah, um, it was hard for me to do, you know, it took me like six months to do that, 
And now, here I am. Um, new person, new me. Who has better um, thinking and better... Um, yeah. And better how I act and just pretty much in general change my behavior and my maturity and just changing myself as a grown person that I'm going to be for years. Um, but, um, but this song, I can definitely relate. And I, and I see that with a lot of people and my, who are my friends as well. Um, just like the last song. Yeah. I can see that from my friends too, that are watching this, but, um, yeah, I see, I see that with a lot of people as well, like in the process of changing and everything. Yeah. But there's going to be people out there who, who refuse to change, but will eventually because, I don't know. They, that's their choice. Um, it's their choice, but, really. But anyways, this song right here, um, definitely, I can definitely relate. And just pretty much, um, just related to everyone else. Um, but overall, this song was really good. Um, definitely motivated me a little bit more to be a better person, I should say. Yeah. Yeah, like, it, it, I, I, I didn't I didn't know about this song ju- until just just now, but right. from listening to it, I feel like something to me just changed. I don't know what did, but I don't know, just um, a little maturity just came in again, like just coming in more and more and more. Yeah, so um, say so bright cycle. It definitely describes the meaning really well about changing like you yes. want to change somebody's life like you want to help them out yes. like even even i had even i tried my best to do that with, with some people before um obviously some it's it didn't really turn out the way i, I hoped it would be yeah but all i know is that i at least try my best i'm sure i'm sure aj knows what i mean yeah i definitely know who, what you mean and who you're referring to so, anyways. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's their choice if they really want to change or not. Because exactly. Obviously, I can't be the one to help them all the time. They have to help themselves as well. Exactly. Like, go to therapy, for example. Or yeah, or seek an actual therapist. Like, I'm, I'm not a therapist. Yeah. Like, I'm just somebody that's trying of, to help. Okay, not a lot of people here are therapists, okay? I mean. I mean, we'll gonna, try to help. If, yeah, we'll we'll try our best to help you. We can't help you fully because can't do that. We're not therapists, but um, I'm not qualified to be one. <laughs> yeah, and um, the parent and you can also talk to a friend or a parent as well if you prefer to refuse to go to therapy. But and just gen in in general, just get help. Get help. You know, just get help and change yourself for the better. That's all I'm gonna say. So the next song on this album, Generation Lost. Uh oh. And the meaning of the song. It in the song, the issues and problems growing up into a teenager. This generation is littered with problems and issues. So the only way they can try to escape is dying rather than to trying to fix this generation. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I mean Yeah. yeah. So we'll talk about after the song. So, um, that was Generation Lost. So, um, yeah, um, AJ, you have anything you want to say about the meaning? Okay, what was the meaning again? In this song, the issues and problems growing up into a teenager, this gen- this generation is littered with problems and issues. So the okay. only way they can try to escape is dying rather than trying to fix the generation. Okay. Yeah, I can sort of relate. Um, from being a child, yeah, I was a maniac. Like, I was pretty much crazy because, like... I'm pretty I, sure that because, was all of us in our childhood. Yeah, it was normal, but um, but going to a teenager though, yeah, a lot of things are gonna change, you know, from your age, your maturity level, 
and your control level because like a lot of things you have changed in your life um there are certain points that you cannot do anymore like i don't know like there's gonna be a lot of things that like you're allowed not allowed to do anymore when you're a teenager because i mean you wanted to go that little kid's ride and all that stuff well you can't do that anymore because we're too we're not we're not little anymore we're big guys we're like bigger people yes um um but like yeah but we can still watch like childhood shows as well like from the past from the last few years of our lives like we can still watch that to this day because we can just remember it from our childhood and if anyone's gonna judge us based on that then screw you um anyways um but this song was really good yeah and there's some issues with this generation yeah from growing up and maturity and etc it's yeah it's a hard thing to do you know just growing up from generation to generation like it and it's um and like when the parent like raise a child and everything like they teach them to be a better per- to be, be a bigger and better person you know like they just tell you certain things of what you need to understand in life and and yeah i could definitely relate on that part of things so yeah, yeah but this but the song was really good yeah so this song definitely really touches on the the, the, the generation and life going up as a teenager yeah i'm pretty sure we're, we were all maniacs when, when we were younger and no, that's yeah. normal in, 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 in a kid. You know, yeah, and but, that's, but and that's, as time goes like, on, you'll eventually mature. Yeah, like you'll eventually like grow up and be a better person yeah. that you wanted no matter to what. be. No matter what. Um, no matter what. Yeah. So, so yeah. Um, let's, let's go to the next song, shall we? So, oh, so oh, overall, the song's pretty good. The next one called Dark Passenger. Let's do it. And the meaning is, it's just talking about the song title. It's a reference to Showtime show Dexter. Oh, I don't know who that, that show is, but. Passenger. So, um, the meaning is just, uh, Talking about the song title being a reference to the Showtime show Dexter. Um, not much to say about it, but it's that the song was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, AJ, go ahead. Yeah. Um. Wait. What was the meaning? I'm sorry. It just talks about um the 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 song title being a reference to the Showtime show Dexter. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, I forgot about that. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't have any comments about the meaning because I don't know the show. But um, yeah, same. but this song is good. I definitely enjoyed it. All right, all right. So the next song, it's called um, Wasp. All right. Um and and it also features Tessa Poljack of Silencio. That's all the what the song meaning says. Silencio? Yeah, I never heard of that. Oh, okay. All right. It's also going to be the longest one off the album for seven minutes, so let's do it. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, that was Wasp, the, the longest one off the album. So, yeah, again, it features Dessa Paul Jack of Silencio, if that's how you say it. Um, I don't know, but but I, but I actually enjoyed the song, too. Um, it definitely goes into the into into the calmer side of motion. Listen, white shows how they can do without having to scream. Having to do all those screams and stuff, but it, it, it but the song 
didn't really have to be that long, but um, but it, it really shows what most of us can do without screaming in their songs because yeah. not every song has to do their screams. Exactly. So you know what? That's the reason why I like the song. So, um, AJ, go ahead. Yeah, um, I definitely enjoy the song, and it's um, a really good one. I definitely enjoyed it. Yeah. It, it didn't really have to be that long, but um, if, they, if they needed that much time to show their change of pace, I guess that's fine. Um, so, yeah, um, I definitely like the instrumentals as well, which I think is dope. So, yeah, um, let's move on to the next one. Called dead as fuck. Uh oh. All right, let's do it. But the song itself is sexual. <laughs> what? Oh no, we're gonna get sexual in here. Oh, oh shit. god. And <laughs> is directed towards w- women. Chris Emotionless is in love with a dead girl. That's god. sickening. Oh. Okay. okay. That's sickening. Okay, first of all, that's sickening. It's second of all. Why the hell did you bring that up? Yeah, I, I was just reading off the meanings. So, it, so as long as so here's so AJ, hear me out on this one. Written hey. by Chris and the band's rhythm guitarist Ricky Horror, the song is written about the movie, The Bride of Frankenstein. Oh, I don't even know about that movie either. The so song I itself is intended to be for entertaining purposes rather than t- be taken seriously. Oh, okay. So at least, at least they know. That's good. Yeah. So again, the the song is just for fun. Okay. Okay. All right. So, I mean, not every song has to be serious. Below. I mean, not every song has to be serious. I mean, that's true. You're right. So yeah, let's get to the song right now. Let's have some fun there. Okay, so that was dead as fuck. So again, like the song, it's it's meant to be taken for fun. Okay, it's not meant to be taken seriously. It's just like it's just one of those days where you know, like bands just want to have fun and not have to write about something serious. They just want to have fun with their music. So you know, I think the song's really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, AJ. Yeah, I thought the song was really good too. Um, yes. Do not take this seriously with the meaning, guys, okay? That's on Don't take it seriously. Like, according to song meaning, it's not meant to be taken seriously. Exactly. Yeah, Chris Motionless said that he... he it, it's the song just for fun. He, he just wants to have fun. Yeah, exactly. So, let's move on to the next one. Final Dick VM? D-I-C-T-V-M, featuring Tim Skold. Um, Hold let's on, see if they me, brought up his... Oh, the final dip in. Dip down. Um, the final dip down. So, um... So yeah, let, yeah, let's play the song right now. There's, not, there's no meaning to this one. So there's no meaning. So AJ, why don't you go ahead? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. Good song. I definitely enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I always um enjoy the song. Um, it's pretty good. Um, I don't know the meaning to this. Um, I can't really analyze the lyrics. So yeah, um, cool song. So we're on the last song of the album. Carry the torch. There is a acoustic version, but um, we, we we don't really have to play that. Yeah, we have an acoustic version of cinematic, which I believe was on the uh, hold on step. Oh, it was on the uh, infamous album, but they spelled it differently on here. 
Um, but yeah, um, yeah, it's cinematic from the infamous album. It's like an acoustic version of it, which we don't have to play. Anyways, um, let's get to the last song, Carrying the Torch. So the meaning, um, this was the first song written for Reincarnate. The background of the lyrics are based on one of Chris's heroes. Brandon, uh, guy, Haiti of Bleeding Through, um, I can't really pronounce that, telling him to carry the torch. In a Spotify commentary, Chris revealed that the beginning of the song, the instrumental intro, was originally going to be the beginning of the Creatures album. Oh, okay, let's play the song right now. So, um, that was the last one off this album. I say it's a good way to close it out. Um, I really enjoyed it. AJ, go ahead. Yeah, this one is a great way to kick a deep to the, close out. I mean, this song was a great way to close out the album, and I definitely enjoyed it. It was a great song. Um, but yeah, this this album in general is really good. I definitely enjoyed it. I would actually listen to it again. Yeah, um, so ratings, um, AJ, how would you rate it? I would rate this album a solid 10 out of 10. Yeah, I'll, I'll also rate it 10 out of 10 as well. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, um, thank you guys for watching this episode of the Loudest Podcast in All Music, the Modcast. We were being reincarnated by Milton White. Um, we were originally going to do... Manic by Wage War, but um, Maddie wasn't available. But we'll for sure or get that done by next week. All right. All right. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. That'll will be the next episode. Um, AJ, go ahead. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching another episode of the loudest podcast of all fucking music, the March fucking cast, where we review. Reincarnate by Motionless and White. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And hope we'll see you guys next time. Peace out and rock on. All right, all right. We'll see you from Manipo Way Tour, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.